I'm looking for British love. I'm looking for British love for that citizenship thing. <laughs> I'm tired of my passport, so I got a plan. I got a plan. But it's difficult, difficult to, 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 to keep the British happy. Yeah, well, I'm not romantic enough for you. Mm. Well, I remember a woman saying to me, uh, <laughs> she was shocked I had not watched Love Actually, which you play every Christmas. And she was like, you got to watch it. I watch it every year. And I cry so hard. And I remember thinking, <laughs> Who enjoys crying? It's like recommending a restaurant by saying, oh my God, you got to read it. You, you got to eat at the new curry house. I eat there every week and I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I started seeing uh, 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 a rather lovely lady. Uh, uh, she's, uh, she's got a kid. She's got a kid. Has anyone dated someone who's got a kid, not your kid? Yeah? It's complicated, isn't it? It's difficult because you're like, how do you interact with this kid? And she called me because a kid got in trouble at school and serious trouble. He'd been waving a knife around. And she said to me, oh, can you have a conversation with him? Can you talk to him because he got in trouble? I think part of the problem is he's never had a male role model. Could you talk to him? And I was like, he's got a fucking knife. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to him. Algebra, I'll help you, right? <laughs> Knives, you're on your fucking own, man. <laughs> oh, positive role model. Who's a parent? Who's a parent? You're a parent? Like, uh, to your kids, who do you use as a role model? Who do you say, if you try hard, you can be just like this person? You don't? You don't? No, I don't think parents do it anymore, because it's getting harder and harder to have role models. Because they keep, they keep discovering horrible shit about people we used to idolize. Do you know what I mean? Like someone used to admire you, like, oh, shit, he's a nonce. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> literally, literally, they keep revealing stuff. You know, like, oh, Bill Cosby, we love, oh, no, we don't love Bill Cosby. <laughs> he's drugging people. You're like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, Lance Armstrong, oh, he was cheating. They keep revealing stuff. Uh, I think nowadays, if you have... If you're uh, trying to inspire a kid with a role model, you have to say, oh, you can be just like Usain Bolt. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> 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 just in case it is later received. Uh, and I'll tell you the one which hurt, which affected, I wasn't bothered when like, you know, Bill Cosby was revealed or like, uh, you know, Kevin Spacey stuff came out because I, I didn't really admire them that much. But the one which affected me was Louis C.K. Do you know Louis C.K.? Do you know who he is? No? Who, do, who knows him? No one knows him? He's a comedian, right? He was a comedian, very brilliant comedian. And then it came out that he'd been like corning women and wanking. Like, you know, just surprising them. And <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know if he did that. That's my little flourish. But, but essentially, just like, you know, just like, hey, how are you doing? Ah. <laughs> and I was like, this is my hero. It's so shocking when it's someone who you've admired. I literally, I watched all of his comedy. I read his biography. And I was just like, oh, oh. Because I, I had tried so many times for over the years to be, and I'm, I'm just not as funny as him. And now I'm starting to wonder, was that his secret? <laughs> is that what I'm going to do to get to the next level? And I'd, ne I'd never do, I'd never, I'd never corner a woman. But, but, but sir, could you help me after the show? <laughs> Man, come on! Let's become great.